What up, fools and foolettes? It's your boy, Baron Von Roscoe, doing his Baron Von Roscoe. And I know I said I wasn't going to do one of these for a while because I'm having a lot of health and personal issues and EVM's kind of taking a full, uh, full speed ahead mode, so I haven't been vlogging much. Uh, this isn't a vlog, though. This is just a little quick little video. I know, I figured I wasn't going to do this, but I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what I picked up today. Over the last couple of days, I've been doing some retro shopping, um, getting back into the old retro shop, and um, I picked up some really cool stuff, and I figured I'd show you. Um, but no, this isn't an update or anything, this isn't a progress thing, it's just me just doing a little quick update. So, let's have a look at what I got. So on, uh, what day is it today? Sunday. So yesterday, I went to Cash Generator. I went to Cash City, which was closed, and then Cash Converters. In Cash Converters, they've got a copy of Transport, which I really want, um, but it's still $10. I'm not paying $10 for a Sega Master System game. But then I went to Cash Generator, and they had some really cool stuff in it. So let's have a look at what I got on Saturday. So check this out. I got Tetrisphere on the 64 for $5. And Tetrisphere 3D Tetris. This is some cool shit. Let me just move this out of the way. Okay, next up, I got a game called Battle Sport. I thought I could send this to the guys at Continue because this, it sounds like a like a sort of wipeout sort of show, game show sort of video game. Uh, this one was $3. Okay, and the next one I got, Alone in the Dark, the One-Eyed Jack's Revenge. This, Alone in the Dark series, man, I tell you what, these are hard to come by, and this is an original as well, so. I was really happy, same with Battle Sport, it's an original game. Um, it's hard nowadays to come across uh, games that aren't pirated, um, but I do have chipped uh, consoles. I am willing to pay for chipped games, like burnt games, but I'm only willing to pay 2 or $3. But if I can get the originals for like $5, I don't mind, but these ones are like $3, so I was pretty happy with that. And the last game I got, which I already owned, but the disc was missing, was Mario Party. Oh, sorry, Mario, pa Mario Party. Ah. No, Monopoly Party. This is the best Monopoly game you can get on PlayStation 2. And I know you're going, Ross, you're playing board games. This, it's sick. Okay? Now, I also, today, it's Sunday, I went to Belmont Forum Swap Meet. And I picked up some really cool stuff there. I spent about 50 bucks. This, all this stuff I got yesterday, I, I got a discount. It was meant to be like 13, I got it for 10. So, the next lot of stuff I'm going to show you is pretty cool stuff, so let's have a look. Alright, so first up, this is a bootleg, but it's still a good game, Hercules. Now, you can buy this in the PlayStation Store, Hercules, but even though it's a bootleg, it was $2, and to be honest, Hercules is a fucking sick game for the PlayStation 1. This is back when movie games were actually pretty good. So there's that one. This is an original. Um, which I, this next one I'm about to show is an original, which I'm so fucking happy it's an original. It's not in its original case though, which is a bit annoying. Rugrats Search for Reptile. I actually have just the disc of this, I'm pretty sure, but it's in like a really shitty sleeve. I finally now have it in a proper case, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, and it's the PlayStation one as well. And to be honest, like out of all of these, like I, I wanted... I always wanted an original Rugrats Search for Reptile, so that was like $2. Okay, next one. This is a bootleg. Uh, Mortal Kombat 4 for PlayStation 1 as well. And this was $2 as well. So, yeah, that's Mortal Kombat 4. Um, this one, is this one a bootleg or is this an original? This one's hard to tell because I'm pretty sure it's a bootleg. From the disc art? No, I'm going to say it's bootleg. But this game's sick. Heart of Darkness. You can get a limited edition version of this, and it's 3D. Uh, it is really cool. Worth getting. If you can get a hold of it. It's, it's like Abe's Odyssey, uh, but it's that whole, like, one one hit and you're dead game. So you got to memorize a lot of stuff, and you got to be, like, quick timing. This is a game for... It's a must-have for anybody that owns a PlayStation. So, Heart of Darkness. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is really cool. I'm into collecting bootleg stuff as well. I collect. Uh, I bought a Crash Bandicoot 3 warped bootleg. The cover was so shit. Um, but I actually own two Pokemon games that are bootlegs. I own Pokemon Chaos Black, and I also own Pokemon Quartz version for the Game Boy Advances. And today, they had another Pokemon bootleg. 
And I'm I am a, such a big fan of Pokemon bootlegs. I don't know what it is. I just love them. I want to collect them all. And this one is Pokemon Frigo version. And this guy's got a robot arm with a Pokeball. Um, it's I didn't pay thirty dollars. I actually paid ten. Um, the description here. Uh, it says, start your adventure on, po on Pokemon Frigo Returns and receive one of three basic Pokemon from the Professor. Journey through Hoenn, gain knowledge and training Pokemon badges. And look at that, Misty is... That's like borderline, that's not the official art, that's like some porno art there. Um, Pikachu's fucking loving it. Let's have a look at the cartridge quickly. The box was shit, she was like, she wanted like 15 for it, and I said, I'm not paying... Fifth oh, there's a manual in here. I'm not, I was like, I'm not paying 15 for this. The box is shit. This is Pokemon Frigo. I might do a video with all my bootlegs for my thing. What have we got in here? Um, no, it looks just like it's just Pokemon Fire Red, really, but the manual is very simple. So, I'm really happy that I got Pokemon Frigo, because I've been... I kind of remember there was a Pokemon Frigo. Sorry, I'm going to put this back in here, so you guys have to watch me do a reboxing. Yeah, Pokemon Frigo. So, I'm, I'm really happy with that one was happy with that purchase. Ten dollars. I'm willing to pay ten dollars for bootleg. Okay, next up, now I'm gonna turn around here. I got hang on, I've gotta put this in the case because I know actually no I won't because I'll Resident Evil 2. Isn't the director's cut, but it's still this is a sick game. This is the official game. This is not a bootleg. Okay, now when I opened it up, now it's empty right now because they're on the they're behind me. Uh both discs were in there, but also, there was all this shit in there. So, let's have a look at what I got. So, first of all, take I paid $2 for this. So, I got Resident Evil. There's both discs, okay? There was also a copy of Ghoul Panic, an official copy of Ghoul Panic. There was also an official copy of uh, WDGL, WDL Warjets. A copy of Motherfucking Soviet Strike. Holy shit. And a copy of Mickey's Wild Adventure. Not the porno. Two dollars! She had no idea. She was like, are the discs in there? And I was like, oh yeah, the discs are in there. All your discs are in there. Didn't say a thing. So, so far I got that. Now, the last thing I got for twenty dollars was this. A PlayStation. I already have a PlayStation. I already have a chip PlayStation. This is also a chip PlayStation. Still in its box. Well, I mean, it's been taken out of the box, obviously. But... This here is a box PlayStation. Um, I I took it out there. I had a look, but I'm not going to take it out for you guys now because I can't be bothered. Too, too much effort. I might do it later. The other cool things I picked up, I picked up some little trinkets and stuff for skits and stuff, but my dad picked me this up because we thought it was really cool. Um, it's a home console, like one of these mini home consoles. Play TV Cricket. And this is the game, and the controller is the ball. So that was uh, pretty nifty. Look at this. This is some funky shit. And the other thing I got is this thing. My robot. And it was $5. It, it, it was two for two for ten. Um, but Dad was like, you'd be crazy to buy that, too. And I was, like, I was pretty tempted to, but I've already thought of a skit for this thing, so check this out. So... Alright, so far. Hang on, I gotta grab it up from here. Fucking sick. Where were this was when I was a kid? Where the fuck was that when I was a kid? Well, that's, um, that's my retro gaming update. Um, I'll probably do when I'm not still ill. Uh, and still really tired and wanting. I'll do Pokemon bootleg update for you guys so you can see all the bootlegs I own of Pokemon. I'm trying to get more but they're really expensive to import but swap meets are the number one place to find them because they usually go through stores and also the the resellers at swap meets are awful like this guy the number one tip is don't buy anything that's in a glass case you just get ripped off. Those games are like thirty dollars for sixty-four games, and he's like, "It's a good bargain." I almost bought from him. There was one game I did want to buy. It was Lilac War, still in the box with the Dual Shock Shaker, twenty-five dollars, and I was willing to pay that. Still in the box. 
but I already spent $50 today, and I think I did a pretty nifty job. So yeah, that's uh, not bad. I, I want more cartridges though. I love my cartridges. So this week I only really got like Tetrisphere and the Pokemon game as a cartridge, but you get that. Well, that's it for this update, retro update, and I'll probably see you guys again soon, hopefully. Um, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it, and I will see you guys uh, next time.